now starting to bring to the marketplace, and they'll come to Argentina over the 20 months. And we're, we're, I think, for the first time, we have a really, really you know, cohesive platform of devices that are all coming out at a similar time. And I'll talk to you about a few of them right now. So the first one is the BlackBerry Mobile 9900 device. And I'll tell you, this is my device of choice. This is the device that I do. I've been at Research in Motion for 12 years now, almost 13 years. And I think this is my favorite device I've ever had. Fantastic. From this touch screen, so it's a combination of a touch screen and a full 40 keyboard. So you really have the best of both worlds. I can navigate through my device using the screen, uh, or I can use the, the traditional thumb pad. And of course, when I'm composing those long emails or complicated emails, I'm able to do so with the full 40 keyboard. The other thing about this device is it has uh, support for the augmented reality. So augmented reality is that Wikipedia application that I spoke about a little bit. And you need to have a combination of a digital compass and a GPS on the device. And this device has both, so it allows you to use that application. The next device is the BlackBerry Torch 9850. And this is for those users that really like a full touch experience. This is the biggest uh, screen that we've ever had on any of our BlackBerry devices. And the user experience is just fantastic. With that larger screen, it really provides for the larger keyboard, and it's quite manageable to compose those longer emails uh, that traditionally over a, a software keyboard are a little bit difficult. This device also has support for the digital compass, so the, the augmented world of reality is supported on this device as well. So some of you may already today have a, a Torch 9800. But we want to bring in sure that we're refreshing our devices and bringing them up to speed and what we're bringing now is 9810. And this device here is, is a device you know, very it's similar to the experience that you have today with the, with the 9800, but we've really improved on, on some of the features. So again, this device has, a, like all the other devices, has a 1.2 gigahertz processor. So it's funny that we're seeing devices with a 1.2 gigahertz, gigahertz processor. This makes me feel really old because I, I think my my first computer was a lot less than 1.2 gigahertz. So it's amazing what we're seeing this, we're starting to see in our handsets now today as well. So again, just uh, so we've improved the processor, the screen is fantastic. We have um, all, all the, the three devices I've talked about so far. They all have 720p uh, high definition video capture. So really strong uh, cameras, a 5 megapixel camera, and being able to do that level of of um, video And the last device I'm going to talk about is the Curve uh, 9360. And this is uh, this is our sort of entry level device, if you want to call it that, but by no means is it really the specs making it an uh, entry level type device. It's got a new processor, the 800 new processor. This device already also supports NFC with a near field communication. I think that's up and coming. It's fairly new to the marketplace. Um, and allow you to be able to connect to a website quickly, or you know, down the road, I think where we're really going to see the use of NFC is in billing. So, no longer would you, you know, have to carry around a credit card necessarily, you'd be able to do a lot of your billing transactions through the device to you know, tap it onto a smartphone, for example. So, the other piece I want to talk to is the BlackBerry uh, Playbook and our Casper solution for the marketplace. And I think we, our brand new team, did a fantastic job with regards to the slogan, powerful, portable playbook, because it really, truly is all that. And I think one of the other things that differentiates our tablet from the other tablets that are in the marketplace is that we really focused on the enterprise and making sure that our device was enterprise ready. So one of the, one of the features that we brought onto the product is called the, the BlackBerry Bridge device. And what that does, it allows you to connect your BlackBerry smartphone to your tablet, right. and then allows you to see your things like your email, your contacts, and your your, uh, your calendar and contacts. And it also allows you to get access to your, some of your corporate data and to and some of the applications that are in your playbook as well. So what we feel is that you don't necessarily, if you already have a smartphone, why do you want to go and buy another SIM card to put in your playbook or any tablet? for that matter, when you can use the SIM card that you're already paying for. And it's doing that in the BlackBerry Bridge product. On the playbook, we have 
uncompromised route. We align strongly with the Adobe product. And I don't know if you know, but we, we did a survey of the top 100 websites around the world. And over 70% of those websites are using a Adobe Cloud to, 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 as a development tool for their website. So how the tablet that presents to you the website that it was designed for, for your laptop or your desktop, to be able to see that same experience on a tablet, it's extremely important. You don't want to know, you, you really don't want to modify your user experience just because you're probably carrying a mobile device. So the playbook, what you see on the playbook is what you see on your, on your desk, on, you know, sorry, on your, on your laptop or your desktop computer. It also is industry uh, leading with regards to the processor. We have a 1 gigahertz dual core processor that allows you to do that full multitasking experience. What we realized too at Blackberry is that you know, when you're using your laptop, you're not starting one thing, finishing it, closing it down, starting another application, and working on that. That's not how we work in today's, you know, that's not just how we work today. We're always multitasking. We have multiple things running at the same time, things in the background, things that we're, you know, that we, you know, we want processing to continue in the background while I'm working on my email, let's say. And with BlackBerry, we support the full multitasking. So one of the other on my BlackBerry device at the same time, this is literally not the mirror of what you see on the playbook. I can delete the appointment here as well, post post the appointment, implement it, I can delete it actually. Delete the appointment, and it disappears to my playbook. So they're completely synchronized all the time. It's really an extension of my BlackBerry smartphone. And as Eric mentioned, you don't need another data plan. This is all leveraging the secure Bluetooth connection between the smartphone and your playbook. Fantastic. One of the things I really like too is that there's also what we call a fringe browser that allows you to get access into your corporate data as well. Um, and it's again secure because it's using the transport on your BlackBerry device to get you back into your corporation to look at some of your corporate uh, data. An application can also run on that transport as well. So you, you mentioned something about if the connection breaks, yes. what happens uh, to the user then? Great point. So this icon here, which is going to go in here, it say, let's lock. So we're going to simulate the breaking of the connection between this playbook and the uh, smartphone. Lock in. Notice that all of these are locked. And now in order to access them, I need to actually log back in with, with the password with all the action now. That's fantastic. I mean, it, it really, you know, is a great example of, you know, if a connection is broken between your playbooks, so if you've left your playbook on somewhere and you take your smartphone away, that, that connection breaks, there's there's no way you get to get access to the information that's on your on your device, either your playbook or your smartphone, because that connection is, is now broken. You're so that's really your uh, your interest on the playbook. You're absolutely right, you're bang on. I just want to add that this this happens to be one of the reasons why the playbook actually received the fix on the point certification because none of the information is resident on the BlackBerry. It's a secure solution. All of the policies that you apply to your smartphone, in essence, extend to your phone. That's very secure. That's very special. Really, really exciting. 